Okay, so if I look at myself, it looks like I'm looking... I only have my phone, you know, so... A friend of mine who I actually met through booktubing, uh, she said she liked my videos, but she'd rather I speak. <laughs> and... Yeah, they're drilling somewhere in the building. I have the morning off because I I work the weekend. No, I don't work the weekend. I work the evening at the library. So I thought I'd try this. I'm a lazy person. I only do the Vlogmas videos because I don't like winter. So I tend to get very crafty this time of year um, and just try to romanticize life, I guess. I. Yeah, I just want to do all the cozy things to get through <laughs> the winter. Um, winter and spring is not my seasons. I live in Sweden, so we have seasons, all the seasons here, but winter is long. And my favorite season is late summer and autumn. Let's read. Yeah. So I'm home this morning with my cats. And I'm having coffee and I'm watching... Uh, uh, different vlogmas videos and knitting videos and trying to finish a Christmas gift for my partner. Um, we will trade gifts the 21st. I've been watching uh, Emily Kate made this um, her vlogmas is uh, which I love and she's been having some trouble with her partner's uh, Christmas gift a sweater I feel for you uh, and I'm out I'm really worried about mine <laughs> I don't know if it fits she doesn't know about this so I haven't tried it on or anything um, and I'm making it from sort of scrappy plutloopy <laughs> And I'm making the Björk t-shirt, but I'm making long sleeves because I wanted that gauge holding one strand. Uh, and it looks like this. So the light green is a Nutiden, which I had some of, and the ivory beige, the green, and the black sheep is Plutlupi. And the green I had, I bought from a friend, her scraps. So I had like 100 grams something, maybe 140. I had two plates of this black and half a plate opened of this ivory. I think I have two more, but yeah, I just wanted to use what I have. So, and I got so fucking tired of making this pattern. So I decided to make the sleeves green, but I wanted some green left for the body. Um, I think I have 40 grams left, so we'll see. I made both the green on the sleeves, so I decided to make a long rib uh, in the black sheep. 2x2 two two rib, um, 3 millimeters. So I'm hoping this decreasing is good because this is a short sleeve pattern. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffles. Um, and I'm deciding to make long cuffs so you can fold it nicely instead and uh, for it to fit tight. So it will be easier to put your jacket through. My girlfriend likes hiking and being out in the woods and stuff so I thought this would suit her and she also she likes green <laughs> so I think this will turn out very pretty but I'm yeah I don't have a lot of time left 
and it's three millimeter and 3.5 on the body and three millimeter on the hands so I just need to <sighs> yeah I need to finish this one I have some footage from the past few weeks where I've worked on it I'll put those in another video probably This is a book I'm reading. I'm listening to this one uh, audiobook. This is a Swedish, pretty new young adult book about three boys in upper secondary gymnasium, I think. Or is it high school? Junior high? Like lower secondary? And they are three friends living in the suburbs to Stockholm uh, and the author is Nora Khalil she works as a teacher I think so she uh, she knows kids uh, and it's so funny they are fucking hilarious but it's also heavy and sad because one of the boys um, has to go back to Iraq and they try to get him to stay and all that. And it's also about life, you know, uh, normal, any teen stuff. It's really, really good. So if you know Swedish, please read it. Very fantastic book. Um, and it's so funny. It's so funny. My arm is getting tired. <laughs> this feels super weird. I want to show you one more thing. I finished a gift for a said friend <laughs> for her son. I made another tiny pom-pom hat that I test knitted for Teddy uh, on Teddy's Knit Garden. Lovely. So this is blocked still a bit um, tiny pom pom. So now I've used all of this blue yarn that I had. It's Jabo Two Trod Two Ply, a sport weight, a wool. So I've made one of these in my own size that you've seen and I also made a pair of uh, fingerless mitts that are a bit longer on the sleeve and you fold it here so it's longer as well and I'm gonna gift those to a friend I think uh, who will come here on Saturday for some cozy Christmas foods. So these and this is a free pattern in Swedish called Skule by Annas Artifusa. So her fingerless mitts. I really like this yarn, but it's not my color really. So I'm not sure if I'll keep. I used the hat once, uh, and I would really like a pair of gloves like this for myself, but it's not really my color. When I order it, ordered this it look more gray purple um, but it's a really nice blue like a dove dusty dove blue uh, and I think my friend will love it so she can have it <laughs> um, you might have heard me talk about this quite recently because I ordered some of it from um, Maritime Family Fiber to work on this sweater. This is the anemone sweater, which I'm still working on. This is a sneak peek. I have yet to split for sleeves, but we've got a good amount of yield going. Um, and it's the contrast color in this sweater. And I really, really like this yarn. I bought a skein of it, this, a skein of the um, Briggs & Little Regal. No, yes, 